Hey Jim, this is Neko D3. I just wanted to make a quick video. There was an update that came out yesterday um, for Inventor. So if you go to your Manage account, you should find, you probably won't see all these products. The only one listed for you will be Inventor or Inventor HSM. But there should be a product update if you go over here product updates you should see inventor there should be a new update that came out uh, yesterday that you can download and install another way you might be able to find it is go let's see if i can extend this uh, hopefully you can see that on my screen i don't know if that's going to capture it or not but the autodesk desktop app you should see if you click on my updates you might see it there as well for uh, inventor updates so uh, once you get that installed you'll open up your part and so what the big change is is they made it so now you can explode text to be usable geometry for uh, engraving so if I go to your part and look at for example this text here which is on this sketch. I'm just going to delete your delete your um, emboss. So I've just got your standard sketch here now. And yep, so what you want to do is edit the sketch. Each of these text boxes that you used you can now right click on them and say convert to geometry and you can see in the background there the numbers that it's going to convert from your basically visual geometry into a sketch geometry so you can just go in here and pick a different uh, font basically I found dim looks pretty good but actually all of them look pretty decent but anyways that's what it's going to come out to look like so if you just go through and do that, or in your case, uh, maybe as you're creating the part file. Um, I'm just right clicking and then hitting the enter button. Convert to geometry, enter. Convert to geometry, enter. And you'll see what there is somewhat of an advantage. Unfortunately, you can't go back once you convert it, so just keep that in mind. This might be like the last step in your process. After you get all the text figured out and you know everything looks good, then you can go through and and do this convert to geometry with it. And once you get that done, finish your sketch. You got all those texts in the same sketch, which is going to be handy. Oh. Okay. And so now I'm going to go back to the model, and you're going to want to use the trace command for this. So I'm just going to do trace. I've got your quarter inch 45 chamfer. Go to the geometry tab. While you're on the geometry tab, you can then drop down here and switch back to the model and click on that sketch that we just converted. That's going to select everything inside that sketch. So now I'm going to jump back to the cam, and you can see all of that geometry has been selected at once. There's no longer going through and picking each thing individually like you had to do the other day, or previously on this, and it was really bogging your computer down, and mine too. So, uh, once you get that sketch selected, if you needed to, you could go in and, and deselect things. Like I noticed it picked up these lines underneath. I don't know if that's something you would want or not. But uh, you can hold down the shift button if you needed to deselect anything. Just like that. Anyways, I'm not going to go through and do it all. Um, the only other thing you do want to do is make sure that on the passes tab you put a negative axial offset in there. Because right now the tip of the tool is going to run directly on that surface, which may not do much or if anything. So I'll do like a negative 10 thou 
offset for my tool to go down into the material and then on the linking tab you want to make sure that you uncheck keep tool down and turn off your lead in and lead out so once you do that your tool won't drag across anything so we'll say okay it should calculate here fairly quickly there we go and there is our engravement so let's simulate and just double check things tail that looks good and there it goes so I think that'll save you quite a bit of time hopefully on the programming side but just remember um, you can't go back so once you do it if you needed to make changes to your text or something like that you'd have to type a new text box in there and then right click and convert to geometry in fact uh, I wonder if you could I'm kind of going on a tangent here right now but you can see that that works let me just try something real quick that also may help you out just to see I haven't tested this out yet so this is a, a first look but let's try it delete so you got some more text here I'm wondering if you can I was hoping you can copy and paste it so that way you can have one that's live and you can make changes to and then just turn the visibility of that one off and then use the other one to uh, convert to geometry just in the event that you might need to redo something. Um, you can copy the sketch. Let me see if I can control V it. Maybe not. I might have to go into the sketch. Highlight, copy, right click, paste. Okay. So technically, you, I guess you could uh, copy and paste a sketch in its own and just drag it out to the side so you still have it and then use that one in case you needed to make changes and redo it you can have that still existing but still this would be the one that you right click and say convert to geometry yeah that might help you out as a workflow anyways hope this helps uh, and uh, let me know if you have any questions the biggest thing is to get that new update that came out yesterday it's an inventor update not a, not an HSM update um, and like I said you should see it in your desktop app or at your login of and the website is manage.autodesk.com once you type that in it'll probably ask you to log in and hopefully you click on product updates and it'll show you right there so hope this helps thanks jim